tank stubborn. Okay. Farmhouse ale. Next. Another one. Next. Do you want to pour? Sure. I don't do anything now. So, those are five ounce glasses. We have 24 ounces of beer here. Let's do the math. Eyeball it. Who wants to read the label? Who wants to tell say what we're doing? Boulevard Brewing Company. Do we want to introduce ourselves and all that? Our people? I'd like to introduce ourselves. <laughs> Alright. I'd like to introduce Filthy Rich. Hi everybody. I don't know what camera to look at. Oh, so <laughs> either. Oh. I look right in between them both. Now you've introduced somebody. <laughs> this is my partner in crime. Air. I'm Rich Lowe. I'm Isaac. <laughs> all right, I'm Chris. We're all here. This is drinking time beer. We'll, next time we'll take turns. This is the beer yeah. show this where we're hot. actually drinking beer. This is a holiday beer this show. This is the one that's not at the radio station. And the Tank 7 Farmhouse, and where's this from, do, do, do you say? Boulevard this, Brewing. Boulevard Brewing. In... Missouri. Missouri. Kansas City, Missouri. And it's like a, what I call a Saison, but we did some research and it's really not a Saison, it's more of a farmhouse. But a Saison is a French farmhouse. Yeah. And beer. we liked it a lot. We liked it a lot. So this is a good beer. Boulevard yeah. Tank 7 Farmhouse. The ale. idea is the farmhouse, you know, depends on where the farmhouse is, is how the beer tastes. <laughs> right, exactly. You know? Nice driveways. Back at you down that way. Boom. Here we go. <laughs> Boom. I'll get you, guys. Go, <laughs> go for it. Okay. This is going to be great. I do you like that? Yeah, it has what I call a perfumey flavor. I always, I always say that, but it's, it's not too much. Sometimes it can be too much, but this one is, is nice. You have to kind of be in the mood for it, I'd say. I can see somebody at this group might not like it. Is that true? Anybody doesn't like it? And it's okay if you don't. That's fine. I no, would say so this is not the season for it. Okay. Well, yeah, this is more of a spring. spring. I knew it was one in the group. You want to say more like a spring summer? Yeah, this is a yeah. spring beer. Yeah, I agree. Right, I, had, I agree um, with that. I had a turntable ale the other day. And pills. Exact, uh, yeah, yeah, a turntable pills. And I had the exact same thought that this is really more of a summer type beer that you could have after you mow the lawn or something, you know? Right. Yeah. We did that this summer, you and I. Yeah. <laughs> How are you going to mow the lawn if you're wait, if you if you can't if you're waiting to drink till after? First, do you work first? Then you can enjoy it. Just going on the Ryan lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we were drinking beer. And my daughter was cutting the grass, right? Isn't that right? Yeah. Going through the flower beds. That's the yeah. be. See, that's the way it should be. Have your kids mow the lawn while you sit back and drink beer. Right. Well, you did coach. About yeah, coach, you go on, you're not driving a straight line there, kid. Yeah, yeah, don't walk behind them or beside them. 8.5 alcohol. Yeah. 38 IBUs. Yeah, I mean, I don't, this is not a bitter beer at all. It's delicate. I think it's an acquired taste, though. I don't think you're yes, gonna be able to. Definitely. Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah, yeah, it's got a different. You charge of twelve bucks for this at a concert. Someone's gonna whip it right yeah, back at you. Probably. Return it. Oh, I would have drank this. Oh, you would have drank it, but I just yeah. imagine like your average concert. Oh yeah. no, no! You know, you try to sell this at the gun for twelve. Probably Jethro Tull. Jethro Tull, they might have returned it. Jethro Tull. <laughs> yeah. So, this is the new Belgium 1554. Good luck, Lager. Um, I, I put some pretty heavy, raunchy beers in this <laughs> yeah, uh, you did. cooler here. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna get funkier as we go. Uh -oh. <laughs> but you have good you have good taste in unique beer, though. You always get. I don't know if I do. Things. I just look for things that could potentially <laughs> yeah, <you do>. backfire, <laughs> and then I get it, and then I do so it. So it's intentional. No, I just figured oh. it's like I don't know. How to dread it. So this is New Belgium, and this is a black lager, and this is something newer. I haven't seen it around. It is, everyone probably knows New Belgium by now, but it's the first different thing I saw they had that was not like something like that made no sense, like, you know, putting strawberries in beer or, <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, we're against that. That's Doesn't something like a uh, yeah. motor. And it's last, only a 5.6, so it looks funky and raunchy, but I don't think... It might taste. Have a taste. And it's, it's from Asheville, Asheville, North Carolina. I guess I didn't know that. They, they the opened spot, one man. there. It yeah. was from Fort Collins originally. Oh, was it? Yeah, oh. Fort Collins. And now they have one Colorado, in Asheville. Asheville, North Carolina. I love okay. Asheville. 
I, I've never been there. It's so nice. It's cool. Told. Um, yeah. I think Beer Street is also like a beautiful outdoor. There's so many places that, like you can walk around downtown. There's a bunch of different trails around it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. There's trails all that go throughout the whole thing. And, and then if you want to just get the heck out of it, you go up into Smokies or, you know, wow. jump on. Uh, the Smokies are maybe an hour and a half away. Yeah. It goes right through the Blue Ridge Parkway. So, like, Blue Ridge Parkway. a bunch of trails off of that. Very cool. The cool place, cool part of the country, I think. And like beer capital of the nation, something Is it like that. Really? How's yeah. that? I thought it was Milwaukee. It's, it's, so getting, it's pummeled by beer. No kidding. Really? Yeah. That's because it's such a beautiful area. I think. Well, we were talking um, earlier today about uh, maximum maximum consumption. It's kind of sweet. And um, sweet. Like we're talking syrup. about syrup and coffeeish. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's well, a little coffee flavor. I said it looked like. But Coke there was a talk that here in Cleveland like that, that there may be. Some sort of beer saturation, craft beer saturation. Mm-hmm. Well, we're at just, critical mass of beer. We're at thirty. There, there are thirty. So you have the card, right? So you're I saying say thirty microbrews in Cleveland? Is that what thirty micro? I think it's twenty-five miles of Cleveland. Oh wow. Okay. Huh. So if you're ever thirsty in Cleveland, you're going to find a nice microbrew, and they're going to have something nice to eat as well. Most of them. Most of them. Yes. Well, the Arbitron ratings came out once again. The beer show Friday night, number one in Cleveland, Ohio. Here's to the, right. Right. the best beer show in Cleveland, Ohio, on Friday night at 6:50 p.m. That's like a. It's like the best like beer show in this time slot on that station. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the best show at this time on this station. That's absolutely true. <laughs> So, so thumbs up or thumbs down on this one? No. I give it a thumbs up. Really? I give it a I give it like a like <laughs> thumb and a half. I'll give it this thumb. I'll do like thumb and a half. I'll do like <laughs> yeah. I won't give it the finger, but I'll give it the thumb and a half. <laughs> I'll teach you how to five. Like but you know with the label down. with the label, I almost it it almost tastes better because of the label. I'm a bit of a believer in that. Actually, you look at the label and it kind of almost makes you have an idea of what it's going to taste like. Yeah, you know, that's true. Like something Which like is old. Which not that great. <laughs> like of Legos. Yeah, we'll go for a, ah. uh, we're going to go for something in a totally different realm. Is it the same one? No. Wait. So, story of this beer. Okay. I'm reading it from my here. Story of the beer. Uh, 97 Fort Collins yeah. Flood. So, we're... New Belgium originally from, like, ruined the head brewmaster's recipes. So he traveled to um, Belgium to, like, find recipes, get to learn new stuff, and that's where they found this. Um, and it is a recipe from 1554. Yeah. Wow. Boom. Excellent. The research we should have done earlier today. <laughs> yes. Live that's research. That's what for, right? <laughs> skull rating on this one. Okay, what skull saying? rating. That skulls, I like the skull on this guy here. I think it's a good skull here. You want to pass around? Skull rating. Skull rating. Because it's got a, it's got all the other cool stuff oh, that's around cool. it. Yeah, it's, it's got like a weird. Uh, I don't know. It makes me think of like some like Day of the Dead stuff. So this is uh, nowhere in particular brewery, brewery, which we've had plenty of their stuff before. Yeah, we have. Three uh, oh, this is a lime. This is a, a sour. A, a cherry lime. Cherry sour. limeade sour. Ooh. This is uh yes. This is like. The thing you made that you forgot about, and it's in your fridge, and it's been sitting there a long time. This could be like a... Like they must have had surplus lemons and cherries, or limes and cherries. Right. And it's pink. Oh, no. Well, when you got cherries in there, what did you... Are you going to pour some? Filthy? I shall, yes. Crack it in and open here. It, it looks like champagne. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> rosé. <laughs> what did yeah, the rosé, isn't it? I don't think we're gonna finish these either. It is a really pretty can. Four point eight. This is our thing with cans lately. Is they're getting these aluminum cans and they have a generic can with a sticker. I think it's a really good deal. So they print unless there's something horrible about the sticker, like it doesn't biodegrade and like camels are choking on them or something. (laughs) I mean, neither does aluminum. Kind of smells like (laughs) aluminum doesn't biodegrade. No, but it's recyclable. I like aluminum yeah. Yeah, glass. Yeah, they probably like. just burn it off. Because in the in the uh, in the post apocalyptic thing, I'm gonna look. F- I'm gonna need more aluminum than aluminum glass. <laughs> yeah, you can melt it down. I'm not gonna be able to melt glass. 
Yeah. I melted a little bit of a wow. Whoa. So what are you drinking? What are you drinking Whoa. here? Whoa. Nowhere in particular, batch number 29. These guys goof around. Cherry, lime, mm, sour. There is lime well, in there. It's got a skull on it. I'm almost afraid to try So you know how the last <laughs> one you thought tasted like something like, like a cough syrup? This is oh, like really? cough syrup. Yeah. It, it, this I is, said it it's, kind of smells like <laughs> cough syrup. I mean, it <laughs> smells like, like a crappy margarita. Kind of tastes like one too. It's <laughs> exactly what it tastes oh, like. Wow. You described it perfectly. Oh my goodness. It's like a carbonated margarita that's very it's forgettable. It's got a weird aroma. Yeah, but it uh, oh. definitely tastes the lime, and it's almost like. Um, <laughs> Once again, if this wasn't a vodka and not as a beer. It just was like a this is like a liquid sweet. It's like tequila and shit. It's like it is. Oh. It's like a it's like a sour candy. Oh. Oh, you're putting it. You put the whole I thing right, away. Yeah. You're gonna, you whoa, can't whoa, put that, it like whoa. that much away. You well, to, you know, we've you know, had down the ship. Some of these guys, the um, nowhere <laughs> particular. <laughs> that was a mistake. You Uh-oh. just slammed that. <laughs> that was a horrible idea. Have a time. Have a time. Start digging it. Right. You, ever have, up. you ever it's have a cherry 7-Up? Yes, seven tastes up. like that a little bit. This is kind of what right. reminds me of a cherry 7-Up, but there's a little bit of A little tartar, a little more thump. More yeah. A little more tartar. Yeah. Or some kind of like when I was a like little kid and I snuck snake bite punch at the at my parents' party. Yeah. You really get okay. Oh, what's next, folks? <laughs> next time to go to show. No, 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 we're going sideways. <laughs> oh, shit. I saw this one, and I, uh, the More name, uh, the name did it. I'll take it. Uh, that's I'll okay. take it. If Wait we just had. It's yellow. It could be more lemon. <laughs> oh, no. Old engine oil. Yeah, but it's got oh. chocolate in it. <laughs> oh, does it? It's a black ale God, viscous chocolatey Viscous. Do you think you want your beer Harvesting, to be called viscous? I love uh, my beer. Crafted with a twist of oil. oil. Very yes. Good. Harvest Town. Yeah, I've said Harvest Town. Harvest Town. This is a black ale. That was a black ale. Oh, no, oh, it's I don't do oil. Chocolate, so. It is chocolate. And this coated. is a black ale. This is ale. good usually after about 7,000 miles, I find. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then change your filter. <laughs> yeah. My first, don't let them change the cabin filter on you, though. My first thought Extra was, what cost. if we just like find a really old beater car and just see how long it runs yeah, on Yeah, it might run a while on this <laughs> stuff, yeah. Well, honestly, uh, back in the day when I was driving the truck, <laughs> so one of my, uh, one of my, uh, they gave us a card, and we would get an email that says go change your oil, right? An email. So we would get an email from the company saying your vehicle is ready for an oil change. And <laughs> while we're on the clock, we would schedule an oil change, take our car, take our truck, get an oil change. It smells better than the. <coughs> cherry or the, the smell. black lager? Right. Than a cherry. Then, well, oh one, yeah. This is. So one of the techs. Oh. Calls the boss. His car is stopped at the bottom of some ben. exit ramp. So Ben, I do not like chocolate. Locked you up the engine. Like taste. Yeah, yeah. Totally locked up the engine. Had not gotten an oil change in sixty thousand miles. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Great job. All right, so more motor oil. Another motor oil story. More motor oil. Viscous. <laughs> Viscous. Roasty motor oil. It's roasty. It is roasty. It's, it is definitely chocolatey. Yeah, but it's not as chocolatey as I expected no. it to be. It's a kind of low alcohol. It's not as uh, medicine-y as uh, black lager. So does anyone like this? I, I do. I, I, I okay. actually I'm do. Thumbs up. This I give it a thumbs stuff. up. Yes. Yes. thumbs down. There's a nice little story Don't here. Talk. It doesn't tell you anything about the beer. It's about anecdotal things with the... Uh, oil. Uh, Changing your only car and stuff. Oh, like really? But I like the little really mouse. Like the I little like mouse chocolate. driving the car. It just, Want a little it's more? It tastes nice. like chocolate. No. Okay. okay. <laughs> Not if we're having more. I'd... So is that? This, this is, this is, is more. Off on it. This is a, a black ale. It's a black ale. Yeah. Which the the whole black. The, no, that would be the darkness is from like roasting the malt. Do you want to go somewhere totally screwball or Let's... somewhere totally brutal? Ew. Screwball, where if you could be more squooey than this, I thought that was pretty good. Mm. More squooey than that? Squooey. So he's all right. They can be more screwy. Screwy. Oh man. So, oh. This is like. <laughs> uh oh, same same company. Oh, we are back. We are back. Ooh. And the company is oh, nowhere goodness. in particular. <laughs> they're not a company. They're like these two guys or three guys. That's number twenty six. Uh, this is number cream sickle orange cream sickle sour <laughs> with oats. <laughs> with oats. So this is like 
putting <laughs> oranges in your oatmeal. In your no, beer. It's sour. In your beer. Now I sour. love orange creamsicle. Did they have well, orange kid. creamsicle beer when we were kids? Orange creamsicle sours? No. Oh, okay, just check. Not that I recall. <laughs> so this is an ale brewed with oranges, vanilla beans, and oats. Yes. Five point five alcohol. <laughs> oh, I think it's gonna be a little sa- more sour. Oh boy. I, I think yeah. it's gonna be good. All right, that is a one blonde beer you have right there. I can smell the orange creamsicle. Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah. Here you go, my dear. Enjoy that. All right. You can do a pretty good full pour on something like this. Now, what I noticed was... Oh, man! (laughs) Did you see that? (laughs) like pumping it. Did you see that? (laughs) When you get towards the end of the can, it it gets really... Thick and weird. Oh, shit. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. is not. Who's that? That's that's not not beer. Who's drinking that? That's my question. Okay, so yeah, like see here. here's the beginning of the can, and there's the that. end of the can. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's like drinking orange juice. Yeah. There's the oats, bro. <laughs> you got the thick oh, viscous. Oh no, that's it. Mine. Yeah, you want to talk about my, mine? The first four tastes like a sour. Um, um, what's champagne orange juice? Mimosa. mimosa. Taste, taste oh yeah, mimosa. very good, very good. Just true. That's true. Very good. Try that one. I do like mimosa. Mm-hmm. It's really good. It's a little bit sweeter than mimosa. That's exa- that's kind of what it tastes like. like that's it. what yes. I'm saying. I agree. That's an excellent description. Hey, Actually, that, you know that description makes it taste better. <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind having if you think this. Of it, you wouldn't mind having this in you know for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, you're on vacation, right? Let's have one of these. You know. It's not, it's not horrible, but it's what is this? Says it's heavy on the orange, light on the cream. I prefer it to the Oh, cherry. yeah, big time, big time. Better than the cherry sour. Definitely. Better than okay. the I would drink this. Yeah. Give it a thumbs up. And one of these? You give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Anybody else I give it a like thumbs up? There's a weird aftertaste. Yeah. It's like a so like, it's like like sweet like part. The cream, yeah. I would buy it at a bar. I would buy it at a pack. Okay, okay. I wouldn't buy it at a six hundred. Like one. Remember when you ate too much, too many sweet tarts and your tongue would get like kind of almost dried out? Yeah. Yeah, here's a more. Yeah. Let me just try the other half of it, see if it's any different. Well, that makes it. Yeah, it's gonna get, it's gonna oh, get off okay, crazy. And good. all right, well, I'm gonna, t- I've got these two here. Yeah, are you. Do yeah, you need to these... take a break while you finish these up? <laughs> what do you think? Um, I, I like the fact. I like that. That, but I like these guys are traveling Last around year. and, and they're, they're traveling around and trying different recipes and making really strange. <laughs> Making very strange beers. I'm looking forward yeah. to them maybe being a little more mainstream and not so strange. Um, but I'm looking forward to the next one of these. Um, the baseball bat for <laughs> that very end of it. This is the. Uh, this for Christmas breakfast. This could be good. It's hard to find. Why, why is it purple? This makes me think of that Aerosmith video where they're like smashing those like watermelons <laughs> with a baseball bat or something. This beer here. This is an ice box. Yeah. <laughs> Fifteen. Anyone want to want to read that, Rich? I can't even say it. <laughs> Schneider Weiss. It's from Germany. Schneider Weiss yeah. ice box. Aventus ice box. From Schneider Weissen. Yep. This is from Red Wine and Brew. That's where I picked it up. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the only on place German I've ever beer. seen this beer. Big on German mm. beer. And. uh so this is an ice box, and we talked right. about ice box. Ice, I've ice, talked about it on the show. Before. Ice is ice. Ice is as in ice. As in like your uh, molson right. ice. Right. And so the ice. No, no. But, well, maybe. I, don't I mean, it's well, ice, it's ice process. wine too, which it's is so grapes that they take into the winter months. Okay. Well, this <laughs> is really this is this get gets its juice. name because it's it's, sweet, a, it's a Bach beer, and what it is is they keep it at like. Almost freezing. It's very caramel. And every, as the water freezes, they skim it out of the beer. Oh, you mentioned yeah, this. Glasses. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. every time they get like a sheet of ice yeah. on it, they pull it off the top. Huh. So this I have had it before. It smells German. <laughs> wow. Now it has Yellow. like a real. It smells like yeah, precision. It smells German too. <laughs> yeah, it smells like down to like. Five decimal points. Now, what is that flavor? Because that's like a German beer flavor. 
But it has like well, a chocolate. Well, when it's alcohol, because it's 12%. Right, <laughs> well, exactly. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Know, nah, you're, tasting you're tasting wheat. You're tasting wheat. You think it's no. wheat? Think about a, like think about a vice beer. But then I think about a wheat beer. Yeah, with, with a punch of alcohol. That's true. But I, I taste that's a little bit of liquor in that. Yeah. In there. It is what I'd expect from like a solid German. It could be because that sour. Brought really? out the sweet taste in this. Yeah, yeah. Well, we didn't have a, a wash in between. Yeah. Uh, that you like? No. <laughs> it's no. Thick. You can tell it's thick. You can tell it's twelve percent. Yeah. Oh yeah. You can. But it doesn't have that kind of like um, vodka. Kind no. Of it doesn't have an alcohol that alcohol flavor, but it has that mm-hmm. flavor that tastes to me like German beer. Yeah. Some German beers have this. Kind of aroma, but it has a bit of a twang to it. it yeah. It's true. It's not quite like a Belgian beer, but it's got a twang. I think it's alcohol. Oh. I think it's a little bit of wheat. It's alcohol. It's wheat, and it's like yeah. If it was fourteen percent, it would be like Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like getting there. So and if um, it was warm, it would be foul. So you think it no, up actually, or I down? think you think it would Might mellow be out. Warm, yeah. I think. What I find, especially with darker beers, is that the, the if the temperature is a little warmer on it, that more of the aroma, more of the flavors, true. very true, everything comes out, and you can like differentiate some of the different flavors. I like um, it. I I, I also at a point I was able to like drink this one quite quickly because like it wasn't this I would bomb it if I drank it quickly. Oh, I would really. I, the I, next I, time what we're gonna do is we're gonna drink all the same beers in the reverse order and see if we have the same. <laughs> <laughs> This is, this is great. I mean, I can drink this like all night. So, um, about a week ago, we lost our dear friend Roger Weist, host of Beyond the Pale, heard Sundays on WREW every Sunday from 4 to 6 p.m. The past 15 years? For some like 15 years. 2003, right? So, we are going to have some Guinness Extra oh, yeah. Stout. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, Extra Stout. Extra Stout from Ireland. In honor of Roger Weist, who we know and love, and uh, thank you, and is it's toasting with Irish. us, <laughs> and really a nice guy, oh, and, so, and very popular. Yeah, overall, very totally awesome guy. Yeah, Roger is one of the guys. Roger was a, a, a person that, if you met him once, you seemed like you've known him all your life. Yep, and he treated you. Yes. Like he's known you. Very true. All your life. Yeah. Uh, Roger was, um, like you said, at the station for uh, about over, well, 15 years. And uh, he was also our music director. Which means that Roger was the guy mm. that talked to all the record companies and got us a lot of music. Not just Irish music, but all different kinds of music across the board. And so for the last 15 year, years, Roger has been part of building the WREW CDLP library archive, if you will. And, and luckily, we have we had a very totally killer, nice guy doing it. Yes. And any of you How could you are, not send Roger some records? <laughs> yes. <laughs> He'd be a jerk not to send him some records. He's a nice guy. Yeah. I mean, and, and uh, so today we buried Roger... And it was a fabulous service at uh, St. Patrick's in Ohio City. And uh, so I want to toast my dear friend, Roger Weist. Excellent. Very nice job. Thank you. To Roger. A job well done.